Hello and welcome to WePC. My name is Jay and today I'm going to show you how to overclock your GPU. Now don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe if you are new to our channel. Now before you get too ahead of yourself, you probably should stop and do some research on your GPU and find other users benchmarks. It is always helpful to research overclocking results for your GPU to establish a baseline of expected performance. An expected baseline gives you somewhere to start which you can adjust upwards and downwards in accordance with the results of your own testing. So before we overclock the GPU, we are going to need to know how to use Combustor. Now you need to understand how to use and read Combustor because before we overclock our card, we need to know what performance we are currently getting at our base levels. So let me walk you through it. Open up MSI Afterburner. In the center, you should see three buttons and one of those should be the letter K. The K stands for Combustor and should be highlighted as the others are. If it isn't highlighted and cannot be clicked, this means you need to head over to the MSI Afterburner website and download the Combustor app. So click the K icon, which should be located above the core voltage meter, and an MSI combustor should load up right away and begin stress testing your card. You can now monitor your GPU temp, FPS, GPU load, and much more. And this will give you an idea of how your graphics card performs at those base levels. And once the test is complete, or before you close it off, record your performance scores so you can compare with the performance enhanced overclock settings later. So at this stage, you're going to want to start your overclocking process. The first thing you need to realize when thinking about overclocking any hardware components is that overclocking is not risk-free by any means. You are running a serious risk of permanent damage when overclocking, so don't be foolish when entering this process. The first thing you'll need to do is set both the power limit and the temp limit sliders to maximum. And with these boosted settings, the GPU will now be more power efficient and should reach higher temperatures than it would at base. It's worth noting the GPU will never reach the upper limit unless there is a hardware malfunction, so don't be too shocked if the max temperatures seem ridiculously high. Next, increase the core clock speed slider by small steps. Each unit on the slider references a single megahertz. If you push the slider in the positive position by 40, you are theoretically overclocking your core clock speed by 40 megahertz. I highly recommend boosting your clock speed by 20 to 30 megahertz each time and no more to ensure no damage is caused in the process. And always remember to hit the apply button after each incremental step. After a while, depending on which card you have, you will start to see a steady flow of graphical issues and your card won't be able to maintain a stable playing field. At this point, you know you have reached the limit of what your card can do. Now don't be shocked by this behavior, all graphics cards have their limits and if your GPU completely black screens or crashes, the card will reset the driver allowing you to reduce the clock speed again. Start by reducing the clock speed in increments of 5 MHz until all errors and glitches have dissipated. Combustor should be stable and running perfectly when the settings are manageable. If Combustor is stable, try running a game on high settings and stress the graphics card to see if it handles that scenario. And if it does, you have successfully overclocked your GPU. Now next is to overclock the memory clock speed, and the same method applies with slightly different incremental steps. We recommend increasing the memory clock speed by 50 to 100 megahertz per step. Again, once you experience regular errors and glitches in Combustor, reduce the memory clock speed in small increments of 10 megahertz until you find stable settings. At this stage, you really want to test the new settings for a prolonged period of time to make sure that the card is stable. I would recommend running Combustor for a minimum of 10 minutes and monitoring the card as it does so. Just make sure there are no glitches, mishaps, crashes, and so forth. And if there is, just reduce the clock speed down by 10 and redo the test. Once you feel happy with the settings and everything seems stable, save the settings as a profile by clicking on the floppy disk icon and selecting one of the profile options. Also, using MSI Afterburner for on-screen display benchmarking is a great way of showcasing how good or bad your GPU actually is. You can easily set the software to display temperature, workload, memory clock speed, clock speed, and everything else that comes with a GPU. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Click on the settings tab and find the monitoring tab. Under active hardware monitoring graphs, select the information you would like to display on screen by clicking the desired fields and checking the show in on-screen display box. If you are doing a benchmark, for example, you can showcase the FPS, core clock speed, memory clock speed, and temps. And whenever you load up a game, the OSD will provide real-time details about your GPU's performance. You can assign in-game hotkeys to toggle the OSD on and off which is ideal for everyday use so i hope this helped you if it did i would love if you could leave a like and subscribe if you're new to our channel if you go to the description down below you'll see the full article relating to this subject as well as a link to our discord server we would love for you to come and join and come speak to all of us i've been jay thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one